So I, I'm sorry, I just don't, I, I don't, I don't get it. Mr. Montez is offering memories of Langston's mother, his sister, a woman from whom he was estranged for 20 years. <laughs> so Langston may not have my blood, but she has my heart. And that is a bond that nobody has the right to break. Dallas, I'm grateful that you understand my side of things, but uh, you might be siding with Nora if you knew all the details. Well, I just know that you're doing what you've ha got to do to get your family's company back from Dorian Lord. I mean, sometimes you have got to get your hands dirty when you're cleaning up a mess. It's a Texas law. <laughs> I'm a Texas gal. <laughs> yeah, you certainly are. And I know that when you lose something that means a lot to you, you're you got to be willing to just pull out all the stops to get it back. Love it did this? Yeah. Did he do that to you? Well, sort of. You know, I came back here to pick up papers that I had left. He was here and he was drinking. And then he went off on me about how I had turned Gigi against him. And so I got out my cell phone to call him. And he grabbed my wrist, and I pulled away, and I fell, and I hit my head, but, Bo, I don't think he meant to hurt me. You've got to find him, Bo. Were you the last person to see Lovett before he picked up Shane? I guess. And he was wearing a uniform. Well, I don't know what he was wearing. I was totally out when he left, but there was a medal on the staircase. Did you bag that, please? We also found a box left open. We. I think there was a gun in it, and then he took it with him. What exactly did he say to you, Marcy? Well, he said that it was my fault, that he was gonna lose Shane, and that I was siding with the enemy, and that I had helped to brainwash Gigi. That's the way he put it. Exactly. And then he said that Shane's my responsibility, I have to protect him. Look, how hard can you be to find? He's, he's running around with a kid in his dress uniform. Could you check the closet, see what else is missing? Sure. Oh, I'll go with you. Awesome. Does Gigi know that I know Shane's your son? Uh, I haven't had a chance to tell her yet. Well, I saw the look on your face when Marcy told you how Brody was talking. What are you thinking? Maybe you thought the uniform could open some doors for him. Why else would he be wearing it? War changes a man. about survival. Dr. Lord, Mr. Montez, thank you both for your statements and the information you've provided. If there's nothing else, Your I'll... Honor, may I say something since everyone's talking about my life and my future? Of course, Miss Wilde. Please, be seated. Two years ago, I thought I lost any kind of family that I had forever. And then my uncle walked into my life. And in a way, he brought my mother back to me. Because now I have someone to ask all the questions that I'll never get to ask her. I want to hear more about the stories of my mother and of our family. And I want to see the pictures. I want to get to know my uncle better. But the person who has become a huge part of my life and who saved me from terrible loneliness is Dorian. And I want to live with her. I want her to be my mother. 
Thank you for your statement, Ms. Wilde. I'll take it into consideration. And now I'm going to my chambers to review all of this material and your statements, and then I'll deliver my decision. All rise. reputation for diversity and quality education and I see as I walked in here I saw teach tolerance respect each other doesn't my daughter deserve a little respect around here and what kind of tolerance are you teaching if you send a, a child home or student home because they're pregnant oh, is that true you're kicking out of school well, I thought you only got kicked out for cheating or, or doing drugs well, I guess having a baby's worse huh mr. Thornhart mr. Rivera I'm speaking with star and her mother if you're gonna kick star out you have to kick me out too because I'm the father of a baby no one's asking you to leave, Cole. You haven't been the disruptive element. No, he's just the star element of the soccer team, the lacrosse team, and the baseball team. And we all know how important those championships are to this school. Yeah, maybe I don't feel like playing soccer this year after all. Yeah, yeah, maybe I don't either. Are you boys trying to blackmail me? What did Bo say? He's going to find Brody and Shane. The APB out on Levitt's car? Good. Look, I want you to canvas the area around Landview Elementary. See if anyone saw a man in a naval dress uniform leaving with a boy uh, about 10 years old, blonde headed. Okay, also look, check with uh, Rhodes and see if Lovett stopped by there to pick up his paycheck. Thank you. Did uh, Shane and Brody, did they have any special place that they like to hang out? Uh, they used to skate at Angel Square. Yeah, I've got men there. Anywhere else? No, not, not that they ever told me. I've got Sergeant Clark. He might have something. Great. Clark, what do you got? So, you're going to teach me how a Navy SEAL survives in the wild? Yeah. Look, Shane, things got a little hot between your mom and me before. So I thought it was a good idea if we both had some time to cool off. Is that why we came up here? We call it recover and reconstitution in the military. R and R. That way, good. What do you think about us camping out here? That would be great. Good. We got everything we need to survive in here. We got uh, fence climbers, tactical field watch, hydration kit, night ops flashlight. There's a lot of stuff in that bag. This is the minimum a SEAL carries on a mission. So, we're on a mission? Rex and I are gonna pick Shane up from school today. And I'm gonna tell him the truth. Rex is his father. They can't take him away from me. I won't let them. Yeah, we're on a mission. <sighs> cool. Good work, Sergeant. Thank you. A guard reported seeing a man in a Navy uniform bypassing the metal detector at the courthouse. He was taking his son into the courthouse. Why would Brody be at the courthouse? Can you make sure that uh, Marcy gets in a cab? I'm OK. I've got my car. Marcy, you have a head injury. I don't want you driving. And get yourself checked out, OK? Yes, sir. Shane's going to be OK. I know they're going to find him. Brody's not going to hurt him, all right? Why did you change clothes? Dress uniform is for ceremonies and formal addresses. We wear this in the field. The rest of this gear is so we can be prepared. No only easy day was yesterday. What? Seal motto. The only easy day was yesterday. What does that mean? It means that when you're in a war, every new day may be your last. <laughs> 